Happy New Year, everybody. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this cardigan right here, and here are the materials you're going to need. Since I have this tricky knit material, I'm gonna be using a ballpoint needle. I also recommend you using a longer stitch length. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a shirt that fits, and we're gonna fold it in half and start tracing around it. Doing it this way, you can really make any size that you need as long as you have a shirt that fits them. Or you can also buy a regular long sleeve pattern, either paper or digital. Now I'm just labeling it and that I have to cut two. And now I'm just gonna even out the front and we're gonna make a couple changes. At the bottom here, I'm gonna add two and a half inches and at the top, I'm gonna add a half an inch. I'm going to be adding a half an inch all the way around except for on the side, I'm gonna add an inch just to make it a little bit more flowy. And then I'm gonna connect the top and the bottom with a long ruler, curve it out a little bit and then also curve the bottom. Cut this pattern out and we're gonna trace it to make the back pattern. Except for at the back part, we wanna extend it two and a half inches and then slightly curve it to the shoulder. And then I'm gonna fold back that part that we added and draw a straight line. And this will be the back piece. Now we're gonna trace out the sleeve. I don't wanna add the little cuff part because I'm gonna be rolling up the sleeve. If you do wanna add the cuff, then go ahead and put that into your pattern. I'm adding seam allowance, about a half an inch. Then I'm going to label it and put where I need to cut at the fold. And now you have your three patterns. You're going to need two sleeve pieces, two front pieces mirrored, and also one back. Here they are all cut out. Taking the back piece and the front pieces, we're gonna face them right sides touching at the shoulders, pin it, and sew. Here's what that looks like. Now we're gonna open up our top and take a sleeve piece, find the center and start lining up to the shoulder seam, and pin it right sides touching. It should match up perfectly. Once it's pinned, we're gonna sew it and repeat the same thing on the other side. Now this is what you have. Now we're gonna open it up, right sides touching, and align the side seams and pin them, making sure to line up your edges and your seams. Pin all the way down, we're gonna sew that, and we're also gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Now for me, I'm just gonna finish off the sleeves by rolling them up, but you could just hem it regular if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna roll it up to my liking, and then I'm gonna take a needle and thread, and just tack it down. Now we need to hem the bottom and all the way around the neckline, so I'm just gonna serge it and then fold it over and do a top stitch. Guys, this material was really annoying to work with, but it came out so beautiful and cozy. So just be aware when you're using this material, I actually need more practice with it because as you can see, my sewing lines wasn't straight and I found it best to use a serger. The thread just wasn't working great with it. It kept rolling. If you have any tips on using this material, please leave them down below. I would love to hear your advice on it. I still love the cozy look it gave off though. So here's the finished cardigan. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my channel, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.